This video is about how we build from the back in the 3-4-3 three, three formation. So building from the back is what strong possession teams like to do because it gives them control over the game all the way from their end to the other end. Now, we can't be focused only on keeping the ball, only on keeping possession. We have to look to play forward, and there's another video that I posted about that. But when we have the ball with our goalkeeper or with our defenders, we want to be looking to how we can move the ball forward, but keep it and build from the back. So, if our goalkeeper has the ball, we want the goalkeeper not to set up not to put the ball down for a goal kick here, but if they're doing a goal kick, we want them to put it right in the center. And the reason is that by putting it in the center, they keep all options on the table. They put it on the corner, then the defenders know that this goalkeeper can't pass it across the field here very easily. So if the ball's in the center, then goalkeeper has all options. So for the goalkeeper, their first choice should be to play forward, to play towards the opposite goal. Now, that's, that doesn't mean a long kick. The best option for this goalkeeper is the center center back. Now, we don't want the center center back playing in the front of the arc because that way, if they receive the ball this way, they could be pressured and the ball can be taken away. We have to understand that this pass into the middle of the field can be risky unless we know what we're doing. So the center center back needs to choose a side of this arc to stand on. They can choose this side. Generally, they want to choose the side where the defender's not. So let's say that the other team is, we, I have them set up in a 4-3-3. Let's say that the other team is set up like this. It's pretty clear that this side is going to be the one that's easily covered. So the center center back should set up on this side. The side center backs should be wide and in space. They shouldn't be too close to the defenders, but they also shouldn't be so far back. They should be as far forward as they can be with space in front, but they should be quite wide. Definitely not inside the box because they can't receive the ball there on a goal kick. So generally a good place to be would be around here. They're quite open. So if the goalkeeper can play forward to this player and they're open and they can turn on the ball, then that's the best pass that they can make. It's not very risky. <coughs> and it keeps the ball in the center. Remember, the center of the field, this center of the field, that is where we can do the most damage. It's also quite risky to play through there, but if we can control it, then we can control the game. So if you can play through the middle, do it. If you can't, play sideways or back. So let's say that the goalkeeper is unable to play to this player because he is being pressured. In that case, he would look to play to the sides. Noticing that the goalkeeper needs an option, this player should work their way backwards. This player is still in space. So looking at this right now, the goalkeeper sees, ah, I can't play into the middle of the field, so I'm going to play sideways. And so he wants to play out here in front of the side center back. Now the side center back, they have the ball wide before they look down the line they need to look to the center of the field because we want to get the ball back into the center of the field we don't want to lose it there but we want to get the ball back into the center of the field because that's where we can control the game if we can pass through the center and they can't stop us then we can control the game so the ball's out wide because we couldn't play into the center and as this player moves forward they should be looking to the center to see is there an option and that's where these center midfielders come in. They should be dropping into these pockets of space. If they are open, then that player can play the ball into the middle. This player can turn if they have time. Now, this player might notice, oh, I'm being closed down. I can't play forward, so I need to play sideways or back. That's where the other players come into play. In this case, a midfielder might be able to be up here. Remember, this midfielder should not be horizontal with the other center midfielder. It should be diagonally forward or diagonally back. In this situation, they should be diagonally forward. They can receive the ball here. And let's say 
this player gets closed down, they see that they can't play forward, and then that's a situation where he can turn and switch the ball to the other side, to this player, because he can't play forward. So the ball goes out to the side midfielder. Now the side midfielder has space to play forward. This player, we don't want them just running down the sideline here. There is space there, sure, but we want them going towards the goal. So they can dribble in, and we'll talk about this in different videos of what the forwards should do in this situation. But generally, we want to move towards the goal. We want to move towards the center of the field. And so we encourage these players, yes, they can go down the sideline a little bit, but we don't want them to go to the corner. That's not theirs. That's not the best space to go to. Better space is to go directly at goal and to see what can happen, to challenge the defenders. Of course, this player, let's say that their progress <coughs> gets stopped, and that's when they would want to play into the center again. So just to review, from the back, Ball starts in the center. If we can play through the middle of the field, passing, 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 then fantastic. That's the most direct way to goal. And if the other team lets us do it, then let's do it because they're just shooting themselves in the foot. If the other team is smart and they block off our middle options, well, then we have no choice. We have to go wide. But when we go wide, we don't want to just stay wide because they made us go wide one time. If they make us go wide, then we need to keep challenging the middle of the field. And so these center midfielders need to be working very hard and the forwards need to be working very hard to get the ball in the middle, keep it in the middle as long as they let us, as long as they let us. And once they take that away, once they take that away, that's when we can play it out wide again. Force them to open back up again. And when they're open back wide again, that's when we play back into the center. The reason being that eventually we have to get the ball into the center if we want to score. So if we're focusing only on playing it down the wings, then we'll get to here and we'll say, oh, we gotta cross it now. And those aerial crosses, sometimes they work, but combination play through the center is much higher percentage and much more likely to score, as is through balls in behind the defense. So that is a general overview of how we attack and build from the back in the 3-4-3. Three,